to Vex Eye Beauty. My name is Abby and I have a super amazing surprise for you guys. My Vex Eye cousin, Erin. So we're teammates at school, so why not bring it to home? So today we're going to be looking at, the, at some problems and solutions for our robot flex. So let's get started. robots you're gonna have no problem telling them apart okay so the first problem is is that since there's so many hubs and so many different ways to sc score and you only got 60 seconds so we need a robot that can go super fast that's problem number one so problem number two is we can't get them to hot hang sure we can get the hook on there we can pull them up but we can only get it to be a low hang so, to solve these problems, we went to a Vex IQ expert. The robot's not really fast, and if you only have 60 seconds, that's not gonna work. So, do you have a solution for that problem? Of course. The issue of the robot is the chassis. The chassis is too small, so the first thing that we have to do, we have to build bigger chassis and add two more motors. So, when you add two more motors and bigger chassis, the motors is gonna be more stable, and it's gonna give you the power. Not speed, but the power. So, it's gonna be like, a, I would say faster, but the more powerful. That's a pretty good suggestion. Now the second one is, has to do with the claw. No flex robot is, has been able to high hang yet. Do you have a solution for that? Yes, of course. Okay, the main idea for me, you need to add another motor on the other side and you need to switch the, the, the metal shaft for the longer one. And then you're gonna, you're gonna add, you're gonna switch this hook underneath. So with that, you're gonna have a super much power. Robert, robot is gonna be powerful and it's gonna be much easier with the second motor and the, the hook underneath for, hang, for high hanging. Tell us about your trip to Tampa. Okay, actually last month I went to the Tampa for the professional development for the robotics teacher and we've been developing, we've been trying to build a robot as teachers, which is gonna be powerful and and actually good for the for the next level game. So we, like I mentioned before to Abby, we build the bigger chassis with four motors, we add another motor for the for the arm, and we build the hook underneath. So it's easy for, for, for us teachers, for, for for educators to build the powerful robot for, for high hanging. So I hope those tips help. So I'm gonna say a big thank you to Aaron and our robotics expert, Mr. Keith Shurek. Now, I want you guys to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, which will both be linked down below. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna write in my journal.